All right, what I'd like to do is show you how to rewrite using the commutative property. So what we're gonna do is a lot of times, you know, in mathematics, what we'll come up with is, you know, some expressions that maybe look like this. And they may be uh, worked in a word problem or uh, maybe they'll be worked in, in, in an equation or something like that. But first of all, it's important for us just to remember what the community property for addition and multiplication states. The community property for um, addition states, if I have two real numbers that I'm adding them, it doesn't matter what order I add them in. A plus B is the same thing or equivalent to B plus A. And that also works for multiplication. If I was to multiply these two numbers, it doesn't matter what order I mul multiply them. So in mathematics, a lot of times, uh, students get mad at us math teachers because we'll do some of these properties in our head and maybe we won't even say to them, hey, this is what I'm doing. So it's really important a lot of times as teachers for us to kind of stop and make sure that students understand what we understand what we're doing but and also on the other side of the coin it's important for students to know these um, very 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 well because we can't always keep on reminding students you know exactly what we're doing uh, if I said negative 8 plus X I know that I can rewrite that as X plus a negative 8 well whenever you plus a negative 8 you actually can understand that this is actually also equivalent to x minus a, but just to understand that I can rewrite it in this form, which becomes important as I might explain some problems later. Also, a lot of times we get a, you know, a variable times a number. We need to understand that we can rewrite that as five times p. And a lot of times we even drop that multiplication sign just to represent that you know, whenever you have a number next to your variable, that multiplication is going to occur. So. Here are some really important ways that uh, we're going to rewrite using the commutative property and that it might happen very quickly when we're doing a problem that you need to make sure you understand what's going on. 